Okay, boys and girls, uh, this is going to be a rehash of the Lag 3 video I initially did as soon as I returned to the mission screen and actually picked the Lag 3. Whoops. Uh, every, every one of my videos is an adventure. <laughs> it never fails. So, uh... Yeah, that I wasn't I wasn't real pleased with the sound uh, from the first from the first vid. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna redo it, you know, step by step. Um, one like I like I said in the first one, one of the things that I really like about the makeup of this of this title right now, uh, IL two uh, Battle of Stalingrad is how well they did the skins. I mean, like like I said in the first one, I'll just rehash it. It just looks... Every single one of them just looks phenomenal. You know, and... Uh, I'm trying to figure out which cool one I want. We'll take that one. Why not? So, uh, anyway. Here we go. Wait for everything to load in. Coming at all right. So um, a couple things here. Uh, again, I, I'm just gonna recover a lot of this stuff. Um, in the lag three, and well, in all prop-driven aircraft, if you're running on expert settings, you're gonna need to. To manually manage uh, your mixture, your prop pitch uh, mixture is that lever moving right there for your mixture. Full aft, if the if the lever's all the way in the aft position, that is uh, full rich. This bottom lever right here, this is your um, prop pitch for engine start. You want that bad boy up there. Uh, when you're running at altitude, what I've done uh, consistently so far throughout this alpha phase is uh, I've rolled my prop pitch back to about, I want to say, probably about 75 to uh, somewhere between 50 and 75 percent. Uh, the next thing we're going to cover is our um, oil radiator, or water radiator. That's that lever moving right there. Uh, engine start. You want it uh, at 50% or higher. Uh, and the next, the final lever we're going to cover is our oil radiator, which is that lever moving right there. And I'm going to put it at the same spot. I really don't know what I'm doing with the oil radiator, but it's a radiator, and I think it needs to be a 50, so by God, it's going to be a 50. Um, another really cool thing that I discovered is the awesomeness of the flare gun. Um... And these, in this in this title, you will be able to, to fire off signal flares, uh, which is pretty bad in and of itself. It's still a work in progress. Uh, as far as the 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 styling of the 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 deployment of the flare, it's it's time delay is off. Uh, the actual way the flare deploys. Uh, as far as whether it's a single uh, ball of light or uh, it shatters into a number of different pieces is off. Uh, flares of that time period, uh, actually, whenever they uh, exploded and, and started emitting light, they, it was kind of like a little firework, you know. It came down in, in multiple pieces, distributing multiple lights. Whereas this one, as soon as my... My track IR is being a little wonky here. Whereas this one, when you fire it off, it's a single ball of light. Uh, and it also ignites almost immediately. Well, immediately. There are a number of different colors. Um, you got uh, red, you got white, you got green. Uh, that's the white one. Let's see the green one. Which is Here's the green one. So, uh... Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and one of the issues uh, that I discovered during uh, during the actual 
during my flight, my uh, 109, and I did a night flight uh, to bugger port verify, was that uh, if you fire the flare gun any any farther forward of about right here, the flare will uh, will be blown out by the uh, by the uh, propeller wash. Now, part of the reason why it'll be blown out is because it doesn't have that time delay. So uh, I would expect that. That's a, that's a minor issue, but I would expect that to be uh, to be rectified uh, before the game launches. I, I would be shocked if it didn't, because that, while it's a minor issue now um, for signaling uh, signaling fellow aircraft of ground ground troop locations, things like that. Uh, if you're playing on a on a server uh, that has a lot that that has ultra high real high realism settings, that's going to be pretty important to have uh, operating function operating properly. So uh, anyway, let's get this bad boy rolling here. Uh, I have learned how to taxi a little bit better, so hopefully you won't see me like drive into this guy over here. Yeah, that guy. We don't like him. He took our wing off <laughs> in the last video. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's, let's close up our canopy here and get uh, get ready to rock and roll. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know if this is necessarily a good idea, but you know, drinking Sam Adams while I'm trying to fly. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. We'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll run along with this. Uh, another thing that, that you'll notice is that there are no brakes on the, on the rudder pedals. Uh, the brakes are actually that lever moving right there. Uh, and that's another nice little detail. Uh, the, the brakes are uh, pneumatically powered. So uh, whenever you whenever you uh, kick the brake you're gonna hear uh, some air uh, release from the system this is cool <laughs> really really cool so uh, anyway let's get rolling here go juice go I've also got better on my takeoffs and the funny thing is is I can't land the BF 109 to save my butt I, I really can't it's qu it's quite pathetic now the lag, the the lag three, which is what we're, which is what we're in right now, um, I don't really have an issue landing it. I mean, I, I, I get it on the ground. I get it on the ground safely. Most of the time, I overshoot the runway because uh, I'm either coming in too hot or I'm uh, coming in at the wrong angle. But, uh, you know, the 109, man, I get that thing near the ground and it, like, has a coronary on <laughs> it. I end up, you know, doing barrel rolls across the fucking runway. It's it's not pleasant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that doesn't bode well either because um, supposedly on the forums there were a lot, there were a lot of people were saying that the 109 was too easy to land. My idea of landing a BF-109 is, is putting it on the ground in multiple pieces. To me, that's landing the 109 successfully. Uh, in case you didn't notice from my my previous video. Um, and we're having a little bit of a... <laughs> I start touting my taxiing skills and I'm having issues, you know, getting this thing rolling. Yeah, I'm, I'm much more careful <laughs> taxiing because I'm tired of driving into things. <laughs> so, ah! God damn it, Gus. This could be problematic. Oh, no, we're good. All right. Go juice go. <laughs> Get me away from this building. Uh, uh oh. No, go away. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, that driver had too much vodka. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to restart this. <laughs> All right, folks. So uh, we're back on the runway. Our left wing is back to being attacked. I don't know what it is about me and left wings, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's try and get this bad boy up in the air without you know killing ourselves. As, as seems to be the norm with old cacti here. And up we go. 
Ooh, got a little squirrely. Got a little squirrely, but we got her up. So, uh, get the flaps up. hesitant to raise the gear. We'll go ahead and bring the gear up too. Uh, one of the things I noticed about this aircraft is it doesn't handle particularly well at low speed. Low speed, this thing is like a fucking death trap. You don't want to you don't want to get into a turn fight in this lag. Uh, period. But if you are going to get into suckered into a turn fight, you want to do it when your speedometer over there uh, pretty sure that's the speedometer. Again, I can't read Russian, but we're, we'll call that the speedometer. Uh, yeah, you you want to make sure that that bad boy is somewhere above uh, 30, 300 kilometers an hour, uh, b because it, it just it just does not. It gets really unstable below three 300. Um, it does. It, it climbs pretty well. Uh, nothing to write home about. It uh, it dives pretty well. It uh, retains its energy okay. Uh, it's a it's a lag. It, it's not one of the, the one of the reasons why it's not one of the more renowned fighters of the war is because it wasn't one of the best fighters of the war. Um, if I'm going to use this thing, I'm going to try and use it in, in, in a kind of boom and zoom scenario. I, I, I'm going to do everything I can to not get into a turn fight with this thing because I'm pretty sure that I will die. Uh, I'm pretty sure me in a turn fight with this thing is kind of like me taxing. Bad idea. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's... It's a pretty aircraft. Uh, we'll say that. It's it's definitely a, a very good looking aircraft. It's taking a while for my skin to load up. There it is. Uh, and you can see, it, it, it's. I mean, it's it's pretty stable. I, I'm not worried about. You know, I'm sitting here moving around with my mouse, uh, changing the views around. You know, I I don't feel like I, I have to have my hands on the controls all the time, like in a 109 F4 right now. Um, it, it, because there is that trim issue, that trim issue being that the trim commands are in place, but the functionality isn't yet. Uh, it's a little less stable than I like, but uh, I think a large, large majority of that in straight level fight is be flight straight and level flight. I think a large majority of that stability in straight and level flight comes from the fact that there's no trim. Uh, so, uh, you know, the dive speeds, it, it does pretty well in a dive. What's, what's my altitude here? Uh, 1,500 uh, meters up. It's a little lower than I want to be right now for a dive, so we'll go ahead and continue climbing. Uh, throttle way up so I don't fucking stall out, which I'm about to do. And see that airspeed come cracking back up. I'm also going to make sure all my radiators are wide open. I could probably get away changing my mixture down a little bit. Oop, that's a little too low. Call that. We'll call it that. And see how. Uh, see how we look as far as our stability and straight level flight goes. But as you saw, when you change the mixture, you're going to see drops in uh, RPM, drops in efficiency if you if your mixture is too low at a certain level. So uh, you know. Unless you're very, very familiar with uh, these kinds of sims or these kind of air, these kinds of aircraft in general, I I personally would be very, very careful about adjusting, about tweaking your your mixtures until you're 100% positive that what you do isn't going to kill the engine, uh, because that 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 would kind of suck. 
<laughs> yeah, he's zipping along, and all of a sudden, he got no engine. <laughs> uh, as you can see, our temperatures are good. Our temperatures are that gauge right above the green gauge, or the gauge with the, with the green marker on it. That's our that's our temperatures. Everything seems to be well within limits. Uh, we're about 15, a little less than 15 miles away from our from our home airfield. We're at 2,500 meters up. So let's uh, let's go ahead and put this bad boy into a dive. Roll her over. See that airspeed's chewed up down to a thousand meters. The compressibility is starting to take effect as aircraft is fighting me to, to, to stay nose down. Uh, we're up to about 700 kilometers an hour. We'll just go ahead and let it climb out on its own. And uh, we're already back above about 1500 meters. So, I mean, as you can see, this thing holds its energy. Uh, pretty, pretty well. I mean, that short dive, I I went from 2,500 meters down to below 1,000 meters. And uh, my uh, my zoom portion of, of the boom and zoom, I, once I was finished with that, with that I was back up to, to 2,000 meters. So, yeah, it, 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 it definitely climbs pretty well, and it definitely holds its energy pretty well. Um, I haven't been able to break the aircraft, and that's one of the bugs that's been reported is, you know, exceeding recommended speeds doesn't do, at this point, doesn't do a whole lot of airframe damage. Uh, you'll see some compressibility issues, compressibility being that uh, you start to, your flight control services stop functioning. Well, they don't stop functioning, their functioning is diminished uh, because they're compressing. <laughs> Uh, surfaces are compressing, meaning it's a smaller surface of uh, the, they're affecting a smaller uh, uh, pie chart, if you will, of the wind flowing over. Uh, but that's but that's about the only the only thing I've seen uh, to this point is is the compressibility issue. I I, I have I have been able to uh, rip ailerons off uh, by doing some pretty crazy uh, crazy stunts. I have not been able to rip a wing off in a dive, uh, or in a high G turn. I haven't been able to do it. So, uh, you know, there's that. And uh, the other thing I find really ironic is, yeah, I was talking about it earlier. Uh, yeah, BF-109, it's easy to land. It's too easy. Meanwhile, I can't land a damn thing to save my ass, but I can land this. <laughs> so, uh, let's get her back to the airfield here and... Uh, See if we can't set it on the ground without, you know, sh overshooting the runway or bouncing halfway down. And, uh, I've already got my throttle back to about th 30 to 40 percent, so uh, just to kind of bleed off speed as quick as possible. So I'm not sitting there like I was in a 109 video going, eh, I'm going to 200 kilometers an hour too fast. Okie dokie. Sam Adams. That's another thing I like. I mean, it's there's not a lot of games out there that would take the time to model the rivers and then freeze them over. I don't know if you can land on a river. I haven't tried that part yet. I might try that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool stuff in my mind. Uh, I really, really like how they did the forest. It's, it doesn't look as... It, it looks semi-sporadic. Um, it doesn't look like it was just paint brushed on like you see in a lot of games uh, so uh, let's see here what's our speed we're about 350 go ahead and start killing some more speed nine, nine miles out give or take
maybe next video I'll do is a night flight and I'll show you how the flares work and how they extinguish or something. But uh, I think I, I think this will probably be the last uh, last iteration until uh, uh, until the next phase of Alpha, where uh, we'll see what they implement and uh, I'll show you guys some of the implementations and you guys can can kind of travel with me as it were. Um, during this whole uh, testing phase of, of this game, I really, I, I, I really, really like the game itself. I mean, it looks gorgeous. As I've said numerous times, the aircraft handle exceptionally well. Uh, cockpit modeling is is done again exceptionally well. Um, there isn't at this point. There, I, I don't think there's a lot to dislike about the game. I haven't seen combat yet. I haven't seen weapon system employment yet. Um, and I'm not really a big fan of the Eastern Front. But there aren't very many good World War II flight sims out there. I mean, they're just not there. Let's go ahead and drop our flaps here. Five and a half miles out. Kilometers, I suppose. Pretty sure I'm coming in at the wrong angle. Already dropping our flaps, lowered our speed by about 75 kilometers an hour. Let's go ahead and put our gear down as well. Yeah, I was coming in at the wrong angle. But one of the things that's that's kind of chapping my ass right now, if it's, as it were, is the fact that the if this aircraft has a vertical speed indicator, it's not working. I think it's the one right beside the dial with the green uh, tape on it. I think it seems logical. It's the setup that you see in most aircraft these days. Um, but as you can see, my rate of descent isn't shown. So, you know, I don't know if it's there, if that's it or not. I know uh, if there's one in the 109, it doesn't, it, it, the one in the 109 works. Uh, it functions properly, but this one, not so much. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going about 160 kilometers an hour. AI is telling me I can go ahead and land. I'm going to cut cut my throttle back almost all the way and just kind of coast in. Hopefully this works well. And add some more throttle until I'm able to kind of maintain speed. Yeah, see, I'm coming in too high. Oh, maybe not. Actually looking pretty good. Try and flare it out a little bit. And we're on the ground. Yeah, bitches. Bounced halfway down the runway, but by God, I put this bad boy on the ground. Let me check the exterior, make sure I didn't like damage anything. Uh, let's see here, that looks good. Don't see any cracks in the aft fuselage. Bring the flaps back up. There's that other thing I was talking about. See all those cylinder cylinders firing, and and that's just about the coolest thing since sliced bread. I'm sorry, <laughs> I think I think it's awesome. Uh, okay, and that is your first look at, uh, well, it's actually probably your second one. That's, uh, my remake of the, uh, what's it called? Lag 3. There we go. Alright, folks, I'll holler at you later.